Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Review Chains. This is a video on how to play any Nintendo DS game on your smartphone very easy. In this video I'm going to show you what you need and where you can get all the ROM files from. If you like videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, if you have any suggestions for future videos, write it down below in the comments. Let's go! So ladies and gentlemen, the first thing that we will have to do is download the Drastic application. You will have to go to the Play Store, you write down Drastic, and as you can see, you will find immediately Drastic DS emulator. Now as you can see, there are 4.115k uh, reviews with 4.5 stars and more than 1 million downloads. It's a very good application. You can find it here for like uh, around $5. Um, and if you like to test it first to see if it works on your phone very well without bugs, you can uh, download it for free on Google. Just write down drastic.apk and you will find different websites that provide a link to the application. Well, this is a very good application. As you see, I have installed it already. Just press install and then you can go to download the ROM and uh, start playing. You will have to visit a website. The website is called romsgames. Net. Yeah, as you can see, you have the different uh, Pokemon Nintendo DS games already at the first screen Super Mario Bros., Mario Kart. Those are one of, one of the most popular games, and uh, you can download them immediately very easy. Once, uh, you, once you've picked the game, you just download the game, you press here Save Game, for example, Super Mario Bros., download. You'll have to wait for a second or five seconds. Voila, download. Voila. Once you've installed the Drastic application and you have downloaded one of your favorite ROMs that you would like to play, you can open Drastic Emulator. Now I will load a new game since I have been playing the game already. And then you can see I can choose between New Super Mario Bros. or Pokemon Soul, Soul Silver, for example because I have downloaded it already. In this case, I'll just try out Pokemon Soul Silver because I've started it already. Continue, last save, and voila. As you can see, I can play, I can run. And uh, the beautiful thing in this application is, if you like, when you press this button, you can press here and the game will run in double speed. So for example, for the ones that like to play Pokemon, you can save a lot of time by doing it like this for training your Pokemon or other stuff. Voila, scratch. You can see how fast it goes. You can use the buttons or if you like you can use the touch screen. Just like you would be playing on a Nintendo DS. This is your screen with touch uh, options and this is your upper screen. You can press fight. What a gun. Voila. Total grew, total learned rage. Voila. So as you can see, it is very easy, very straightforward. You just need to download the Drastic app. You can buy it from the App Store or you can download it online. If you want to test it first, once you've downloaded it, download the ROM files. Then you just open the ROM files and you can play. So there's one very important uh, thing that you will have to keep in mind, and that is that you will have to save your games with the application like in my case right now, save, overwrite, save, yes, because if you save it just in game and you restart the game, uh, you will have to restart completely. So you always need to save the game uh, with, your, with your application itself. And when you go to the menu, you have a lot of options and customization options that you can do. You can choose different save states and so on. And you have uh, connecting, uh, connecting uh, options and so on. Voila. So ladies and gentlemen, this was a video on how to play any Nintendo DS game on your Android smartphone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, it's very straightforward and very very easy. If you want a video like this on how to play it on an uh, iPhone, just write it down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and of course, if you have suggestions for future videos, write it down also. Enjoy gaming and see you in the next video.